Now I will share with you a story that illustrates the power of a breakthrough. Despite many failed attempts and several that ended tragically, in 1945, the USA focused their efforts on achieving the impossible, flying faster than the speed of sound. No vehicle had ever crossed this line before, and it seemed the closer they got, the more resistance they were met with. In fact, many failed attempts ended in the plane literally shaking itself to pieces. How did we achieve such an endeavor back in 1945? By setting a goal that seemed impossible. We chose October 14, 1947 as the target date and we assembled a support crew of engineers, mechanics, physicians, a ground crew, radio operators, and of course, a 24-year-old pilot. Do any of you know the name of that pilot? Well, his name is Chuck Yeager. Bell Aircraft Corporation built the X-1 rocket-powered airplane, a small bullet-shaped plane with the largest jet engine that they could fit into the smallest plane that could hold it. As it turned out, the only way to have enough fuel for the record attempt was to mount the X-1 on a larger plane and carry it up to altitude. After years of work and several prototype planes, the stage was finally set and media crews came from all around the world to witness the historic flight. And then on October 12th, just two days before the flight, Chuck Yeager was thrown off of his horse and broke two ribs. How many of you would have quit after breaking your ribs? Yeager went ahead with the flight anyways, without telling anyone about the accident. And because of his injury, he was unable to close the door of his cockpit. So he had to take a broom handle and saw off the handle and he used it to close the door with his left hand. That is what I call commitment. Finally, on the day of the event, on October 14th, early in the morning, Jaeger and the X-1 were loaded onto a B-29 bomber and on their way to make history. At 26,000 feet, Jaeger and the X-1 were released and the rocket motor was ignited. <clears throat> like out of a slingshot, he sped away from the B-29. As he accelerated away from the bomber, he called out his speed on the radio to those listening on the ground. 500, 550, 600 miles per hour, 610, 620, 630. The shaking is getting pretty bad up here, Jaeger said. The glass and the gauges are even breaking. What did the ground crew say to him? You can do it. The plane was built to handle this stress. Keep going, keep going. And with a deep breath, Jaeger put his trust in the designers and pushed the throttle forward. 640, he said, 650, six, static. And the radio went dead. Suddenly, they heard a sound that had never been heard before by mankind. Boom! The explosion echoed through the valley. They quietly looked at each other in shock and astonishment. All the while, Chuck's, Chuck's wife began to cry. And after several seconds of silence, they all heard. 670, 680, 690, 700, 710. He had made it. The crowd erupted in cheers. This was an historic event in aviation history. On the other side of the sound barrier, something so curious had happened. All the flight characteristics were smooth and fluid. Chuck Yeager flew above Mach 1 for seven whole minutes. On his way back to the field, he performed victory rolls and wing over stunts. So tell me, what is the moral of the story? I would say, success requires setting big goals. 
It requires a team effort. And you must be accountable to each other, especially the members of the team. And you must trust in your support crew in order to have great success. So when things get bumpy, trust your coach and let maps support and guide you to achieve your goals. Are you ready to break barriers that have been holding you back? Let's remember, how you participate in here is how you participate out there.